वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट येट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट नेम रिएक्शन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन द रेडिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड द नेम ऑफ द रिएक्शन इज हॉफमैन लॉफलर फ्री टेक रिएक्शन सो इन द थ्री वीडियो सीरीज नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कंप्लीटली कवर द रेडिकल केमिस्ट्री ठीक है प्ले लिस्ट होगी मेरी चैनल के ऊपर उसके अंदर रेडिकल के नाम से रेडिकल केमिस्ट्री के नाम से उसके अंदर एवरीथिंग अबाउट रेडिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड हैज बीन कवर्ड एंड आई हैव कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट एवरी एग्जांपल और अगर एग्जाम में नेट किया गेट में कुछ भी पूछा जाएगा रेडिकल केमिस्ट्री से इट इज गोइंग टू बी फ्रॉम द दोज फोर वीडियो सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दोज वीडियो ओके एंड लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब टू so today we are as i said we are going to talk about the hoffman loeffler free tag reaction this is one of the most prominent reactions in which what do we do we use n haloamines and they these n haloamines they are converted into the pyrrolidines pyrrolidines are five membered uh five membered amines okay five main i mean five membered cyclic amines and how do we do that basically we carry out this reaction in the warm solution of strong acid like h2so4 or trifluoroacetic acid or simple irradiation in the uv light you know what 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 do we do we take this in the presence of the uv light sabse important cheez jo is particular rearrangement ke liye kya hoti hai is the presence of a gamma proton or sorry uh, delta proton theek hai so we have this cyclic amine and on alpha beta gamma delta of the delta position we have a hydrogen that is where the chlorination takes place theek hai to sabse pehle humko एन क्लोरो कंपाउंड बनाने के लिए मतलब एन हेलो एमीन बनाने के लिए हमें क्या करना पड़ता है वी हैव टू टेक एन एमीन एंड ट्रीटेड विद सोडियम ऑक्सीक्लोराइड या फिर एन क्लोरोक्सीनामाइड एन का क्लोरिनेशन हो जाता है उससे आपका एंड देन वट डू यू टू जस्ट टेक योर कंपाउंड इन स्लाइटली एसिडिक कंडीशन तो उसकी वजह से कर रीअरेंजमेंट दैट टेक प्लेस इसके बारे में हम नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में डिस्कस करेंगे इसका मैकेनिज्म हाउ इट हैपेंस तो मतलब डेल्टा पोजीशन पे क्लोरिनेशन होता है एंड देन इफ यू एड अ बेस दिस अ सिंपल सब्स्टिट्यूशन टू गिव यू दी पैरोलिडीन तो आप इमेजिन कीजिए नाउ डेज वी टॉक अ लॉर्ड अबाउट द सी एच एक्टिवेशन बट दिस इज द रिएक्शन विच वॉज रिपोर्टेड वे बैक इन नाइनटीन एंड वट यू आर डूइंग यू आर एक्टिवेटिंग अ डेल्टा पोजिशन विच इज क्वाइट डिस्टेंट अवे फ्रॉम द actual functional group so this is a very very good example of a ch activation in a way okay so if we talk about an example so what do we have to see is to uh, uh, is the position of the uh, i mean delta hydrogen okay so yahan par bhi aapka n halo amine hai inhone h2so4 liya inhone heat kiya hai theek hai aapko ya to heat karna hai isse ya to aapko irradiate karna acidic solution ko theek hai so position dekh lete hain ye kya aapki अल्फा बीटा गामा डेल्टा तो इसका मतलब कौन एक दो तीन चार पांच तो फाइव मेंबर रिंग बन गई आपकी फाइव मेंबर बन गई तो इस तरह से आप इस तरह के जो इंपॉर्टेंट आर्किटेक्चर है वो आप बना सकते हैं ठीक है लेट एस जस्ट ट्राई एंड लुक एट द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ द रिएक्शन सो एस आई सेट द फर्स्ट स्टेप आपका क्या एक बार एनहेलोमीन बना देन इट इज द प्रोटोनेशन ऑफ This and halomine takes place, or what? As soon as the protonation takes place, if you carry out the irradiation, so we know that this N chlorine bond this undergoes cleavage. So there is a removal of you know chloride ion that takes place. Now what do you form is this radical cation. Up now what happens? There is a six-member transition state that forms. Okay, there is a six-member transition state which is alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Okay. and then there is a transaction of proton by this radical takes place okay and remember this is a six member transition state so we need we can simply count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay that is where the abstraction takes place so as soon as the proton abstraction takes place there is a radical formation at the delta position now this delta position radical is then captured by the chloride radical which was ejected in the first position now if you add the base then there is a deprotonation of this amine followed by cyclization will give you the required pyrrolidine moiety okay so this is the mechanism of the reaction it is always important to understand the mechanism how the reaction is proceeding that is when we can decide uh, you know we can solve many question based on the understanding so again if we have similar type of a compound just simply count the alpha beta gamma delta delta position and what do you form is a very very important uh, uh compound which is nicotine okay now what okay so one of the things that was uh, discovered when they try to carry out the same reaction using 
optically active compound so this is what they did they started with the optically active compound and then we carry out the irradiation what they found they end up getting the optically inactive compound so these are the two compounds that were obtained mixture of these two compounds 22 percent 78 percent yield again the funda is the same now the formation of optically inactive compound from optically active compound clearly indicates that the carbon atom on which the radical is present for example this carbon atom it has to be trigonal okay it, it doesn't have it doesn't sense the chirality that is present on the molecule as a result of which okay this this should be hydrogen okay so there is a kind of a i mean this is a typo uh, this is a typing mistake that I have done while writing. So instead of one of the deuterium, it should be hydrogen here. Okay, it should be hydrogen, not deuterium. Okay, that only then this carbon is going to become chiral. So this means that when you carbon center, your radical generate hota hai, it does not recognize any. It is not a stereo selective reaction. So whether you start from optically active or inactive, you are always going to end up getting the optically inactive compound. And this is a very very important example, which you can ask on the net. And this is a very high probability such questions can be asked. Okay. Now this is one more important example suppose if we have a molecule uh, in which there are two position where the delta hydrogen is present okay so here what we have is alpha dash beta dash gamma dash delta dash so if the abstraction of proton takes place from this side it is going to give you the secondary radical whereas in this uh, if the abstraction takes place from it, it is going to give you prime radical we know that secondary radicals are more stable so jo aapka cyclization over it is going to take place exclusively from this side so this product forms exclusively aapka yahi banta hai दूसरा वाला प्रोडक्ट आपका बिल्कुल भी नहीं बनता है इस केस में ठीक है एंड देन अगेन टर्शरी अगर सेकेंडरी ज्यादा स्टेबल है प्राइमरी से तो टर्शरी भी ज्यादा स्टेबल होगा लेकिन उसकी बात ये होती है कि डज नॉट साइक्लाइज टू गिव यू दी आई मीन ठीक है टर्शरी हाइड्रोजन एब्सट्रैक्ट हो जाता है इट गिव यू टर्शरी हेलाइट एज वेल बट इट डज नॉट साइक्लाइज टू गिव यू आई मीन एंड हेयर वी कैन सी अ बिग मॉलिक्यूल इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू द हॉफमेल लॉफलट फ्री टैग रिएक्शन एंड इट गिवस यू uh this alpha beta gamma delta delta proton so cyclization give you this important architecture and it takes place from the same side okay so this is the product that you get and here just we see okay there are modified procedures that have also been developed since the, this particular reaction takes advantage of harsh acidic conditions so people have started using iodine and uh, you know uh uh iodobenzene diacetate which is much more milder so what happens under these condition and iodination takes place and in the irradiative condition subsequent cyclization takes place to give you such particular such compounds and if we see the mechanism how it must be proceeding then first in the first step there's an iodination then abstraction of proton then the generation of radical here then the iodination here followed by removal of it to give you the desired product the simple thing that we have to do is to see alpha beta gamma delta where is the delta proton that is exactly where the cyclization is going to take place and remember these are the milder condition okay these are not harsher condition and similarly in the example that is given here alpha beta gamma delta the cyclization takes place from the same side okay to give you the desired product so whatever examples i have covered here the exam is only the question is only going to be asked from these exams okay thanks a lot for watching the video comment on the video let me know what do you wish to see and subscribe to the channel thank you very much have a nice day